Hey, what's up everyone? Lord Ryujin here bringing you another YouTube video. Now this video is going to be uh, kind of a rant, I guess, because I, I don't really have anything definite in my head, so I'm probably going to go off on side tangents and all that stuff. So just be forewarned that I might ramble. But, um, and make sure that you, of course, join the conversation in the comments down below if you want to get in on this. But, um, apparently there are people that are so upset about the Federation Force game that's coming out, Metroid Prime Federation Force, that they actually have a petition uh, to downright cancel the game. And I'm going to be a little bit like a devil's advocate with this because I actually see both sides of the story. Believe me, you're talking about a hardcore Metroid fan here. I own every single game that Metroid has come out with, from the first one to the last one, and I have enjoyed playing every single one of them. Um, and while m me personally, I didn't like the Prime games that much. I loved Prime 1 and Prime 3, but Hunters was kind of a weak entry, and so was Metroid Prime 2. I still enjoyed playing them enough to not really gripe and say this is the worst ever. But you've also had four games that are done in a first person style that I kind of think that Metroid needs to move away from that, you know? Um, but that's just me and my sense. I completely understand why people want more Prime um, just because of the fact is they are good games. And while I enjoyed Other M and I enjoyed Metroid Prime 3 and I enjoyed the old school um, 2D side scrolling games like Fusion and Super Metroid so it doesn't really matter to me what style they use I can understand why people are upset over Federation Force because mm -hmm. one the game doesn't even look like a Metroid game it did, I mean it's okay I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk about that later it doesn't have Samus in it, it does or well, at, at least now they're saying that it does have Samus in it although it shows the move of Federation so Samus is probably like showing up and you know helping out or something and it has Metroids in it, um, but I mean, you're not playing as Samus, is what I meant. Um, and it doesn't really look like a Metroid game, and it seems like it's more of like a co-op uh, kind of game, more so than it is about the exploration and exploring. It seems like it's more like, here's wave one of enemies, let's take them out. And, like, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with having a side game. And I want to state that out loud. There's nothing wrong with having a side game. Because Legend of Zelda has had a ton of side games. I mean, granted, it never came here to the States, but for crying out loud, Tingle got his own side game. Tingle from The Legend of Zelda got like a DS game or something like that. And, of course, Hyrule Warriors is, just, is like a little spin off kind of thing. And, um, Four Swords is kind of technically a spin-off even though that's listed in Hyrule Historia and so is like officially canon but you still have like Link's crossbow training and stuff like that so there are games within the Legend of Zelda series that are not canon that are a part of you know that they're just out there so I see absolutely nothing wrong with having a spin-off game after all we've had Metroid Pinball kind of a little fun little side thing that's like, hey, it's got Samus and it's a pinball game and it's a, it's a retelling of Prime as a pinball game and there's nothing wrong with that. So I am curious to play it just to see what it's like. But I also understand the anger because you have to understand that when you had Microsoft and Sony that showed off these trifectas, you know, they were just knocking out of the park with awesome game after awesome game and Nintendo shows off Star Fox and they spend 10 minutes talking about Star Fox or whatever and it's like okay cool and then they show off uh, Triforce Heroes and then they spend about 10 minutes talking about that and you give a little 50 second second 57 second video that talks about Metroid Prime Federation Force and then you mention nothing else about it you knew how people were going to react to it. And I have to say that I don't agree with it with, with the petition. Um, I always believe that you should just speak with your wallet. Just like I don't care about the Animal Crossing game that's coming out that's like Mario Party 10 pretty much but with Animal Crossing themes instead. I'm not gonna buy it. 
That's what I'm going to tell Nintendo. I'm not interested in this crap. I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to play it. But the people that want to play that Animal Crossing, Amiibo, Carnival, whatever it's called, they have the right to play it. And the people that are interested in Federation Force, they have the right to play it. I don't know if I'm going to buy it. I am interested in trying it. So if I see it like a GameStop or something and it's like five bucks, I might pick it up. Um, I don't think I'm going to buy it day one. I don't think I'm going to buy it. I don't know. But like I said, there's nothing wrong with having a side game. Just call it like Metroid. I think what people were mostly upset about was they were expecting a core Metroid game. You know, they were expecting Metroid Prime 4. They were expecting maybe even Metroid 5 something to where it had Samus in it and it was about the exploration and it was about you know figuring out the puzzles within this world and then if you wanted to throw in a co-op Federation Force like game as the online that's cool you know but when you do that and you make it seem like that's the entire point of the game that's not cool. That's not what Metroid's really about. Even with Metroid Prime Hunters, one of the games that I still think is one of the most accursed games. It's like the plague of the Metroid you know, series because it has absolutely nothing to do with anything. Like Even Other M relates back to Super Metroid and t talks about the events that set up for Fusion. And Prime has you know its own story going on but Prime Hunters has nothing to do with anything within the Prime series within the entire series itself and you can kinda of see that as a side adventure and that's cool I still enjoy playing Prime even though I would probably say that it's probably like but now this this officially becomes the worst Metroid game ever and maybe Nintendo did this on purpose. Maybe because everybody kept pressuring them for a Metroid Prime game, they were just like, okay, and here, 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 shut up. You know? It's, it, it, it's, it's, it's everybody's fault. I was willing to wait and get a proper Metroid game. Whew. And then there is the fact that Again, it just it doesn't feel like a main Metroid game, you know? But I think the thing that upsets me the most, and again, nothing wrong with having side games, this, that, and the other. You could have came out with that this year and said it's a side game and it's something to hold you over until the next Metroid comes out. You could have officially stated that. You made it seem like this was the main entry. And I think it has something to do with the fact that Nintendo doesn't know what to do with Metroid anymore due to everybody complaining. You know, I guess you were just so pissed off that Metroid Other M wasn't a prime game that you bitched and moaned about it rather than actually play it and see that it's actually kind of solid with its gameplay. That now they're like, oh, well, people don't want that. They want prime. Well, we don't know what to do with prime. Retro is done. They are done with the Prime story, move on. But even if they come out with something that's like, hey, this is Metroid Prime or Metroid Omega or something because you, you can't really have Prime anymore because Dark Samus is dead and all that stuff and, you know. But anyways, even if they find a way to make it come back, which is fine if they do, you had such negative activity towards other M that they probably don't want to try and do a core Metroid game anymore. They want to try and do something different to try and find what works. And just speak your heart. Speak with your wallet. Tell them this isn't what you want. And while I still will probably play it, I have to be honest, it's a Metroid game and I love playing Metroid games. Games like Shadow Complex, games like Moon Chronicles, all of which play very similar to Metroid. I'm okay with. And I'm okay with looking at it as a side game. Just like I see Triforce Heroes as a side game. It's not a core Zelda game. It's not an official Zelda game. But it is a Zelda game. And it's something fun to play and enjoy. It's not meant to be taken as part of the official canon. But what my issue is, Nintendo, is the way that it was handled. I've stated this before, and I'll state it again. 
2016 was supposed to be the 30th anniversary of Metroid. I was expecting a big to-do, like it's a hey, it's the 30th an the 30th anniversary of uh, Metroid, which I believe is 2016. I could be incorrect. And so we're going to give you a Metroid game for the Wii U and a Metroid game for the 3DS. And you know what? People probably could have looked that over. They probably could have seen Federation Forces like, okay, this is it. And then the Wii U game is the official Zelda game. But you didn't give them an option. And you didn't give me an option. And it seems like a waste. That's just like you gave Mario a 25th anniversary game. And you're giving Mario a 30th anniversary game with Mario Maker. Metroid didn't get a 25th anniversary anything. And now Metroid's not getting a 30th anniversary anything either. It just seems kind of unfair. Especially for someone like me that really loves Metroid. Enjoyed the first game, loved the second game, really loved the third game, Met uh, Super Metroid. Really enjoyed Fusion, really enjoyed Prime. Tolerated Echoes, really liked uh, Corruption. Again, tolerated um, Hunters and actually liked Other M. This wasn't what I was expecting. But again, I think it's just because of the fact that everybody complained about it. But that's just my two cents. Um, make sure that you put your thoughts in the comments down below. I'm tired. I'm sorry. I, I thought that I had more to go off of, so I know that it seems like I'm going around in circles, but I'm willing to try it. I'm willing to try it, because honestly, it could be good, because I remember looking at the Prime games and going, I don't know if that's going to work, man. I'm used to Metroid in the, in the you know, side-scrolling. I don't know if it's going to work in first person, and then I actually played Prime. You see what I'm saying? I didn't... There was people that complained about Wind Waker and it turned out to be one of the best Zeldas, you know, so I'm willing to try it and give it a shot and I see it as a side as a side game and so I'm willing to accept that more now that I've had time to think about it and like, well, it is a side game, it's not an actual official canon Metroid game. But at the same time, I am disappointed still. Because when I was expecting a 30th anniversary Metroid announcement n that wasn't even mentioned and I think okay well maybe they'll at least talk about it in 2016 and you show off Metroid Prime Federation Force coming in 2016 and I'm gonna double check that because maybe my facts are wrong maybe it's 2017 but I could have sworn 2016 was the 30th anniversary of Metroid and if it is, and the only game that we get out of it is Metroid Prime Fusion Force, it's going to be a really, really, really weak 30th anniversary. That's all I'm going to say. Um, otherwise, I think that I'm done. I don't know if there's anything else that I've missed. Make sure that you put that down in the comments, though, if there is, because then we can discuss that. Or I can make a future video on it if I think about it. But, yeah. I'm not worried about the petition. I think that it's horse rubbish. I think that the game should come out because, again, the people like me that are interested in it or even maybe someone out there that has never even played Metroid Prime and this, is, this can be a gateway for them and they really like it and you can go, well, if you really like that, you should actually play the real Metroid Prime. Boom. It can get them right into it, you know? And, again, there's nothing wrong with having side games. After all, we have Four Swords. We have Link's Crossbow Training. Heck, we even have side Mario games. If you look at Mario Kart and Mario Party and stuff like that, they're not official Mario games, but people still buy them and people still enjoy them. And that's just my two cents on that, guys. Thanks for watching, as always. Have yourself a good one, and I'll see you next time.